Well, today we're going to use simple linear regression in Excel. So first things first is make sure you have the data analysis tool pack. So if you don't already, click on File. From File, hit Options. From Options, click on Add-ins. From Add-ins, go to Manage at the bottom and make sure it's on Excel Add-ins and hit Go. And if you don't already, do the check mark for the data analysis tool pack and hit OK. And if you already have it, you can just X out. So in doing that, it gives us this new option over here called data analysis on the data tab. So once you're on the data tab, click on data analysis tools and this will pop up. Find the regression option because that's what we'll be using today and hit OK. So first thing it asks for are the Y values. So this is what's being predicted. And in this case, it is IQ. So highlight all of the Y values and hit this button to exit. And then do the same with the X values. So what's doing the predicting, and that is age. All these and hit OK. And then now you have everything you need, so you can hit OK and you'll have output. So <clears throat> what we're interested in is if X is predicting Y. So this is what's going on down here. And the t-statistic is negative 4.5, and the p-value is incredibly small. It's using scientific notation because it's so small. So when you click on it, you can see what the actual p-value is up here. It's 0 0.000025, so much less than 0 0.05, which is the typical, typical alpha. So it would be statistically significant. So you would say that age predicts IQ. So now let's graph it out to see exactly what's happening. So here, let's put age, and then next to it, let's type in average IQ. So <clears throat> there's three ages, 12, 13, and 14. To find the average IQ, type in equals, and then average, which will call in this function. And then in parentheses, pull in the numbers that are associated with those values. So those are the ones for 12 or 13, type in equals average. And then let's make sure to get all the values that are associated with 13. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And then do the same with 14. So we have these data, so let's graph them. So highlight over them, go to insert, and then from insert, go to charts, and <clears throat> this is what we want right here, the insert scatter. So let's do that. First, let's reformat these axes. So click on the x-axis, and then right-click on it, and go to format axis. The minimum age is 12, so we'll do that. Maximum age is 14. Because they're only measuring once per year, there's no reason to do half years, so we'll just go in full years and hit enter. And now let's work on the y-axis, so click on the y-axis and then right-click and then go to format axis. Let's change this to say 90, yeah, 120, that's good. Let's get rid of chart title, so click on chart title and hit delete, we don't need that. Also these grid lines we don't need, so just click on the grid lines, hit delete, and then the other grid lines. and <clears throat> hit delete. Now we just need to add in two more things. We want to add in a trend line. So just click on the trend line and then we want axis titles. So for the x-axis we have age and for the y-axis we have average IQ. So we can see that <clears throat> as age increases IQ is decreasing. And this is how you do simple linear regression using Excel. Thanks for watching.